Kirchhoff's voltage law definition says that the sum of the voltages in any closed circuit path is equal to zero. So we are going to derive an, our next equation using this definition. And uh, like here says for 3.2, using KVL derive the equations for each mesh. So our first mesh here is L1 and uh, L1 is our first mesh in this circuit. And uh, the direction I, uh, I'm using to do this loop here to flow is this direction, uh, it's clockwise. And I'm gonna see the voltage, the, all voltages here in this loop. And uh, every time I found a voltage source or a voltage drop across a resistor, I'm lo gonna look for the first sign I see when I encounter uh, those components. So here I'm coming, I'm, this is my initial, my starting point, I'm fall, flowing this way. The first sign I see is negative. So I'm gonna assign it the negative sign for my 200 volt source. So it's negative 200 volts. And then I keep going, keep going. The first sign I see for this voltage drop is positive. So it's positive and the voltage across this resistor is V1. Uh, keep going through this loop, keep going. The, the next sign I see is the, a positive sign for this resistor. And uh, the voltage drop here for this resistor, I didn't uh, assign I didn't label it, but we let's call it, since we have the current uh, 5 amps here, let's call this V5. So here is my V5 voltage and I keep going through the loop, the, the green loop here, and I found my, my starting point. So I close the loop and I uh, have now all the voltages in this loop. The, the value of a voltage source and the voltage drop across two, re two resistors. Now what I need to do is just to sum the values of all those voltages. Uh, so I will have negative 200, let me put it between parentheses, plus V1, positive V1, I don't need the sign here, plus positive V5, that should be equal to zero. And, um, well, if I look here, let's see if we can stop at this point in our circuit uh, with those two equations and we can find the solution for our problem. Uh, do I have V1? Let's change the color here. What is V1? According to Ohm's law, voltage equals resistance times current. So V1 will be the resistance R here. V1 is the voltage drop across the resistor R times the current I1. So it's R times I1. So R times I1. Do I have those values? No. What about V5? V5 will be the voltage uh, drop across the resistor 24 ohms. So I know the value of the resistor here is 24 what about the current? Do I know the current? Yes, I know. It's 5 amps. So 24 times 5, that will be equal to 120 volts. So I know V5. That's great. I know V5. If I know V5, the only unknown on this equation is V1. I can solve for V1. And if I first solve for V1 here in this equation, let reorganize this equation, solving for V1. I'm gonna um, take two, negative 200 to this side of the equation. If it is negative on the left side, it's gonna be positive on the right side. So it's 200. Uh, and I'm gonna take a V5 to the right side of the equation. If it is positive here, it's going to be negative on that side. So this is uh, my new equation. I just reorganize it and V1 will be equal to 200 minus 120. That 
will give me 80 volts. So I found V1, that's great, using this equation here. And uh, I have V5, which is great too. And if I have V1, wait a minute, I know V1 now, right? So if I know V1, I can go back and substitute on this equation. So V1 equals R times I1 should be that it, if this V1 equals those two, those two are equal to 80 volts. That is my V1. So here are all the values we found so far. Uh, we have uh, V5, which is 120 volts, V1, 80 volts. Since V1 equals a uh, resistor R times uh, current I1, uh, that means R times I1 equals 80 volts as well. And the equation we found using uh, KCL. Now we are stuck. Uh, at this point, and uh, because we don't know the value of R, we don't know the value of I1, we also don't know the value of I2. Uh, here it says, if you have more unknowns than equations, identify as many meshes as needed. So we have to go back to our circuit and find another mesh. Uh, let's pick a starting point. I'm gonna use, just changing the color here. Let's pick this as my starting point. So here we have our starting point and I'm going to follow the same uh, direction I chose for L1, which is, which is clockwise uh, direction. And let's start here. So this is my one, L, L2 flowing this direction, this direction, and I stop when I find my starting point again. So this is my loop L2, since there is no branch inside L2, it's also called a mesh. And uh, the direction is the same that I use for L1, it's clockwise direction. Here, so I'm following this direction, this, 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 and I find my starting point again. And what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did for L1. So for L2, I'm gonna collect the voltage in this loop. So following the direction of my uh, mesh current here, I have the first sign I encounter is a negative sign for uh, the voltage drop across 24 ohms, which is V5. And then I keep going, going, going. The next sign I see is a positive sign for the voltage drop across the resistor of 8 ohms, which is V2. And then I find my starting point again. Therefore, the only, only voltage in this loop are V5 and V2, which is negative for V5 because of the sign I see first here and positive V2 because of the sign of the voltage drop across uh, 8 ohms. So according to uh, KVL, the sum of the voltages in any closed circuit path is equal to zero. So the, the, what I have to do now is just to sum those two voltages, which is negative V5 plus positive V2 which I don't need to put the sign, and that should be equal zero. When I solve for V2 here, I have V2 equals V5. And I, since I know V5, because I found uh, when I solved for L, uh, the values in L1, uh, V2 is equal to also to 120 volts. Now I know V2, that's a great step, uh, and uh, see, let's go back and see what, what is V2. According to Ohm's law here, V equals R times I, V2 will be 8 Ohms, which is the resistance here for v, in the voltage drop V2, times the current that is flowing across this resistor, which is I2. So V2 is 8 times I2. Solving for I2, I have V2 
divide by 8. Since I know I found V2 now, is 120 volts divided by 8. And when I do the math here, I find that my I2 is 15 amps. Now I know I2, it's easy to find I1. I'm getting closer to the end of this problem, so what, it, what is I1? Will be I2 plus 5, which is 15 plus 5, that equals to 20 amps. Great, uh, that I found I1, and that is one of the unknowns I was looking for. Now I need to find the value of R, and the value of R I can get from this equation here. R, if I solve for R there, I will have 80 volts divided by I1. And when I do the math here, 80 divided by 20 amps that I just found here, R1 will be equal to 4 ohms. Great, I found all the answers I was looking for. And that is pretty much what you have to do when you solve a problem using uh, Kirchhoff's laws. Uh, again, I'm going to say that again because it's very important. You need to know uh, what is a node, a mesh, a loop, a branch. Uh, you need to know how to identify those things. You need to understand how to apply KCL and KVL to find the equations you needed. And uh, go step by step. Uh, follow this algorithm. Uh, try to find uh, the equations for all nodes. See if you can solve the circuit only with those equations. If you cannot solve the circuit using Ohm's law and those equations that you found, uh, find, uh, go ahead and derive the equation for one mesh. The, does, uh, the, you, you are if you are still stuck, find the equation for the second mesh. Here in this circuit, I'm going to just uh, draw here. If, I, if it, uh, by any chance I was not able to find the answer still for this circuit, I would have a third uh, loop here that would help me. Which is, let's if I start here, you can start at any point, rem, uh, remember that, and go all the way around here, passing through all those external components, it coming back to my starting point. I would have a third loop, and if I sum, uh, use KVL here to draw to derive the equation for this external loop I would have a third equation that uh, could also be helpful to solve uh, this problem so go equation by equation this is my best advice for you and again thanks for watching